Welcome to Car Ride Stories for Gigi Kids. A place where kids like us will be inspired by awesome Christian stories. Oh, puppy, I think we're lost. Are you sure this is the no, right no. address? You're right, you're right. No, keep going straight. Siri mm. says that it's going to turn left in the next 200 meters. Okay, are you sure? Mm-hmm. I don't see the ocean anywhere. It's all right. Keep going, keep going, okay. Esther. I'll trust you. Oh, oh, yes, look, I can see something over there. Yes, I told you. Oh. All right, keep We're turning. And then, oh, there's a parking there, there's a parking there. Oh, perfect. Oh, that was such a long trip, but so exciting. Oh, I'm so happy you could come with me today, Esther, and see my friend Daisy get baptised. Oh, I love baptisms. They're so special. Especially when they're at the beach. Yes. Oh, I love it. Hi, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. You're probably wondering what we're all about. Well, we are on the road because we're going to see Daisy, Poppy's best friend, get baptised. Boys and girls, do you know what baptism is? Have you ever seen or been to a baptism? Have you been baptised yet? Today's story is when Jesus gets baptised. And I have something super special in my glitter box for you about that. Let's go see what's in there. Today in my glitter box, I've got an awesome craft. When you listen to our story, you will see that something special happens when Jesus gets baptised. Something comes down from heaven and you get to bake that something today. So make sure you go to our blog so you can see my step-by-step special craft. I won't tell you what it is because it's going to be a surprise. Anyway, that's all from me. Bye. Oh, that sounds really exciting. Well, I'm going to go to the blog and now I'm going to do this craft because it's exciting. But first, let's get to our story. Okay, boys and girls, get your Bibles ready if you can or listen carefully. The Baptism of Jesus Jesus turned the corner of the Jordan River and beamed when he heard the voice of his cousin John preaching loud and clear. Jesus stretched his neck searching for John amongst the masses of people gathered. John had multitudes following him. There were people that came from Jerusalem and all over Judea as well as the region of the Jordan to hear him speak. Jesus had heard so much about John and how he preached. He never made anything sound sweet and lovely. Instead, he preached with power and truth. Jesus moved slowly down the crowd. "Uh, Excuse me, excuse me, he said as he glanced around, scanning for an opening. Finally, he saw an opening. He quickly squeezed through and apologized to two women when he bumped into them. Hey, stop pushing. The older of the two women glared at him, but her voice trailed off when she looked up at his face. Jesus stopped and placed his hand on her shoulder. I'm truly sorry. I'm just eager to see my cousin. Jesus pointed towards the river where John's voice was coming from. The lady nodded and smiled. Um, yes, yes, of course. She looked at her friend and whispered, He has the kindest eyes I have ever seen in my life. Yes, her friend whispered back. There's something peaceful about him. Jesus walked away and smiled at their conversation. He looked up to heaven. Thank you, Father, he whispered because they see you and not me. In the distance, a bird flew by and a cold breeze wrapped around him. This was the freshest part of the Jordan River. Jesus stopped to take a deep breath and then he spotted John. He was in the water baptizing men and women who were giving their lives to God. John wore clothes made of camel hair, tied with a leather belt and his long hair flowed. Just as he finished baptizing a young man, He spotted Jesus. He lifted his arm in the air and pointed to him. After me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. 
people turned to look at Jesus. Some stared, others whispered, and some giggled nervously. Jesus walked towards his cousin and stood in front of him. I've come to be baptized. Please baptize me. What? No, no, I cannot. John staggered back. You should baptize me. I'm not worthy to baptize you. John, Jesus started to say, I need to fulfill this from my father. He says I am to be baptized and I must obey. John opened his mouth to speak, but nothing came out. He sighed and stared at his cousin. I will baptize you, he whispered. Jesus walked into the cool water and bowed his head in respect, ready to be baptized. John lifted his hand and prayed. Do you know what happened next? Let's look in our Bibles. Go to Matthew 3, 16 and 17. And he says, As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This This is my my Son, son, whom I love. love. With With him him I am am well pleased. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for showing me so much love. Thank you for giving me and my friends and family the example of getting baptized. When I'm older, I want to get baptized too and worship you. Please be with me today and help me always shine for Jesus. Amen. Oh, I really do love the stories of Jesus. Oh, me too. They're so beautiful. And boys and girls, did you hear what came down from heaven? Yes? Excellent. Now go and do that on our blog. And please send us pictures of your creations. We'd love, love to see them. Oh, yes, please. And you could also send us a little audio and you can say hello, say your name and what you like about the Bible. That is excellent. I love it, Esther. So all you have to do is write to stories and the number four, stories for Gigi at gmail.com. But there's a link below that you can write to us. We are going to be waiting. All right. That's all from us today. Bye. Bye. And don't forget that you are Gigi Kids, gorgeous in God's image.